couldn't understand the um, complexity in this photo. Welcome to LA, homie. I live, I work in LA. The flavors, sounds, styles, the people of this place feed our culture, our fashion, our music. It's all different, and it all starts on the streets. I'm Roy Choi, and this is Street Food. We're in downtown Los Angeles, about to meet Esteban Oriol, who's best known as a lowrider, Chicano, OG in the hip-hop game. But the truth is, he's one of America's best photographers. You know how Ansel Adams opened up Yosemite Park to the world? Well, Esteban did that for Los Angeles. You got some crazy pictures through the barrel of a gun. You know, whole gangs just kicking yeah. it, you know. How did you get those shots? By being around it, you earn people's trust. Yeah. You know, on a daily basis, and I happen to have my camera, you know, and I just take pictures of my different friends and always would take, you know, a couple shots here, a couple shots there, and the, the archives just got built up. I think I have about 400,000 pictures in these drawers. Esteban is one of the few photographers who has a passport into every pocket of LA. There's the Hollywood glam game, and there's life on the street. His camera captures it all, and has shown the world how dynamic the city really is. You got the whole city right there on his back. Esteban's intimate look at LA's gang culture has influenced movies, video games, and artists. He brings that same love to Hollywood portraits. I think the, the key to doing something different is like the access that you get. Shooting the likes of Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, Ryan Gosling, and Chloe Moretz. All in the same gritty flavor that defines the streets of LA. So these are all my Canon 81s. He never planned on being a photographer. These are some extra lenses that I have. In the 90s, he worked as a nightclub bouncer, where he met many of LA's first hip hop groups. That's where I met like Booyah Tribe, Cypress, House of Pain, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Fishbone, all those guys. Eventually, he was offered a gig as a tour manager for House of Pain. His dad, a photographer himself, gave his son a camera and told him to take pictures. You're rolling with the band, yeah. you know, going around all the world, doing this cool stuff, hanging out with all those type of people. Then when you're back here, you're in East LA with your car club doing your low riding thing, you should take pictures, you know? Those pictures have filled books, movie posters, and galleries around the world. Whether they're Cholo and Chicano moments or whether they're just real life moments or whether they're LA moments, just to me when I see his photos, it's more than a photo. I feel like I'm with, with them in a, in a way, you know? Even though he uses older film cameras, the look actually mirrors things like Instagram. In an odd way, staying old school has kept him relevant. What do you want people to take away from your work? Just the, the memory of, of me, you know? The thing I noticed with my photography is all this stuff that I've done. Once it, that time is gone, it's gone. But if you have a picture to capture that memory, it's priceless. 